I will present an introduction to our group on distributed computing at KTH. Uh, we conduct research and education on fundamental aspects of distributed computing and computer systems. The group has a focus on large distributed systems and algorithms, big data and cloud systems, and data intelligence and data analytics. By data intelligence, I mean using machine learning techniques to extract value out of data. The typical research topics in our group is distributed systems and distributed algorithms, programming languages and distributed middleware, scalable platforms for large-scale data-intensive computing and machine learning. So it's, it looks into how you use distributed system to scale machine learning training, for example. And we work on decentralized machine learning and information network analytics. Another interesting topic is completely decentralized systems like peer-to-peer -peer computing, decentralized social network that does not depend on a coordinator or a manager, and blockchain technology. And the last topic is cloud computing. All these topics are aspects of distributed computing. And that is because distributed computing is now basically the core of computer science, or the core of all applications is going now. Everything is distributed. Uh, now I will just present briefly the faculty staff. So first it's me, Say Faridi, and we have Vladimir Vlasov, which is Vlad Vlasov, and Sarunas, his associate professor, Jim Dowling, Amir, and Paris. This is really the core of our research group. Um, during the rest of the presentation, we'll have all of these staff members will presenting really interesting projects that they perform, and also their own little groups. So I will leave that to them to do the presentation. Uh, what I'm just going to say is something that is not related immediately to what each individual group, subgroup is going to say. So just back to history, um, our research was really of important value, I mean, both society, from a societal point of view and also from an industrial point of view. And our work led to a number of startups. Uh, the startup was Hive Streaming, that was based on our research on completely decentralized peer to peer computing. And this uh, led to a company called Hive Streaming. It's on hivestreaming.com. So what Hive Streaming do, it provides high, high reliable and high quality video to any audience of any size. Huh? It was extremely high quality and it also analyzes the outcomes and trends of uh, the video communication. This is a completely peer-to-peer -peer system, which means that um, the system does not rely on central coordinator. And in fact, big companies has a Hive Streaming product as they are customers for Hive Streaming. Uh, so we have Microsoft, Facebook, Kellogg, Ericsson, Honeywell, among others. Another work that uh, we have done is the work on platforms for scalable machine learning, where we, we create basically support for the whole pipeline of uh, data analytics and machine learning. So this has led to a company called Logica Clocks. And Logica Clocks is, uh, the CEO of Logica Clocks is Jim Dowling. He has taken a leave from KTH to find this company and make it just going in the first phase of the company. One of the important uh, aspects of Logica Clocks is the feature store and maybe uh, Jim is going to talk about it. Um, this company has a number of customers. It has the one important customer actually is Karolinska, where they use the system provided by Logic Clocks called Hopswork to store and analyze genomic data. The uh, other is Swede Bank to do anomaly detection and uh, uh, try to find money laundering patterns and so on, many other companies. Now, 
I will finish by just a little bit of history about our group. So in the late 90s and beginning of 2000, we created a new programming language called OS, and this language became one of, like, was, has a lot of use at that time, with a lot of users. So currently, there is a conference called Hoppel, the History of Programming Language, which happens once every 12, 13 years, and we were invited to give a talk. Uh, on the history of us. This is not a normal conference. This is a conference where you are going to have one and a half hours presentations, and it was invited only and the papers is about 50 pages. So this has happened only four times in the history of computing. And uh, as you can see here, we have two of the co-authors of uh, us, is uh, me and our late friend, uh, Christian Schulte. We both worked on that. Another interesting thing we have done earlier in the history is to look to our alumni. So one of our alumni is now uh, quite famous in the Silicon Valley, which is Ali, Go Ali Gotzi. Ali Gotzi was part of the group. He became an assistant professor also, uh, and then left to uh, Berkeley. Uh, from there on, he founded this company with other researchers at Berkeley. So he founded the company called Databricks. Databricks is the major company on, on AI and data analytics today. And the company is valued to $28 billion. This ends my talk, and then we'll have the individual uh, members of the group going to talk about their projects.